What's up everybody? Thank you for coming to another RT Shirts video. And in today's video, I got the homie Carlos right here who has a home t-shirt embroidery shop. Right? Yeah. You got a Recoma embroidery? What do you got? What do you got, man? Uh, a Recoma embroidery machine and a Rico RI1000 DTG printer. Dang, bro. You don't mess around. And then you just started, what, a couple months ago? About four to five months ago. Four or five months ago. Were you scared of investing all of this? And I'm Nervous. Yeah. Nervous, but had to do it. Just yeah. felt like, all right, let's, let's go. We're doing this for my family. So yeah. I'm really trying to move us up. There you go. That's what's up, man. And in this video, we're going to show you how to print a shirt with the Rico RI1000 DTG printer. All right, guys, so stick around so you'll miss this free 99 knowledge on the t-shirt game. All right, Carlos, you going to show me how you do the pre-treatment? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to lay it down flat. Yeah, this is a pre-treat, the Ultra. The Ultra formula, you could use it on black and white. And you only need a little bit. Well, did, did it take you a while to learn it? Or you like, it, it's pretty simple? When you first learn it, you're kind of double think, putting too much or putting too light. Mm -hmm. We learned that, put heavy. Yeah. Because even the, the guy who's training you will say, put heavy, the more, the merrier. Because if you put, if you barely put it, and then you put it to evaporate, and it all evaporates, it's barely going to stick. Got it. It's like a glue basically that's sinking into the material. But usually I go about this high and I start off because when I start on, it'll start spraying all kinds of gunk everywhere. Mm -hmm. You want to go first and go smooth. So I go about right here, let it go. And that's basically it right there. And you a pro, Carlos? Uh, <laughs> I wish. Yeah, but that's basically it. And then when we get done with this, we'll take it to the press. Let's go. You press, AKA, in your living room? In my living room. Hey, you're making it happen. All right, when you put it, usually that, that kind of pre treat goes at 330 degrees for about 15 seconds. Mm. So I usually go about 20 seconds. I go 15, let it up, couple seconds, let it breathe, and then push it down for an extra five. How do you get most of your business? Word of mouth? Word of mouth? Uh -huh. Well, I got a Facebook, an Instagram, and a Snapchat. Oh, damn. So, and then I run around having business cards, you know, so. That's right, man, that's right. That's... Where'd you get this order from? The one we're gonna do? Uh, my sister-in-law, they do uh, party vibes. It's uh, yeah. it's not a catering, it's just a decor. Right? Mm, like they set up? They'll set everything up. Oh, damn. Everything. They do everything, and they're really good, too. Yeah. Hey, parties are coming back up, huh? Yeah. Now things are opening up. Yeah. And there's a shirt ready to go on the machine. All right. All pre-treated, dry in the middle, right where we want. All right. Let's go. How long have you been doing this? A couple months. Dang. About four or five months. Dang, man. You went you you went hard, bro. Yeah. You got the embroidery machine, the DTG printer, so, uh, uh, the sublimation machine. Yeah, I got sublimate too. Oh, we even do um, car fresheners. Tell me, how come you decided to go so hard on something that I don't know? Uh, did you know about t-shirts before you jumped into it? I have no experience with Clothing, selling clothing, or yeah. nothing is just. I woke up one day and did my start doing research, and then. And you've already put a shirt right here. And every time you do this, there's a little knob on the bottom if you want to set to zero. You always want to set it to zero because when it's on zero, it's at its highest. So when it's a, you're trying to set, get it further enough, but not too far enough to where it's not over spraying. Got you. So this is where that all comes in. So it's set at zero. My image is already there. So we're gonna try to go in. Obviously detected, that means it's too high. So we're gonna drop it. We're gonna wait till this turn gray. Yeah, now we have to turn it clockwise. Oh, so it could be at the right level. Yeah, see, and now that it's the level, the sensor's telling me it's okay, so I'm gonna return. Let's set. Uh, so, Carlos, what the people want to know, how much does this cost you? These... More, more than your mortgage? <laughs> no, not that much, but they go about 
16 and a half, 17. Yeah. Just the printer. Yeah. Yeah, just the printer. But mm -hmm. the cool thing is too is when you when you go through Recoma to get the Rico, mm -hmm. you get a whole package. They'll mm -hmm. give you a press, they'll give you ink that'll last you up to two months. Yeah. They'll give you the washers in case you need to leave the state. You can flush everything. Oh. They'll they give you everything you need. Okay, okay. And then of course you didn't buy all of it, you're making payments? Yes. Did you have to pull sign down? No, nothing down. What? Cash, nothing down. And, and then your payments are they're about two. Two hundred dollars. That's it. Yeah. And they really want to sell, you know, <laughs> give away those printers. Does this tell you how much you ink you spent or? I, I you haven't set up the program, but you, you could. Okay, okay. Have you had to restock on inks? No, and I've already had it going for like a month. Okay. The only thing I've had to replace were the whites. And because this right here is not like other DTG printers, yeah. this one's maintenance -y. So I, you, I have to never turn it off. Mm. It's always plugged in, always on, because it's going to run maintenance every hour. So it's ready just to get up and go. Like a, where me and my wife were just sitting there and we had an order. Yeah. All we had to do is come up, load the image, do what we had to do. Mm. Go. With other ones, you got to maintenance it before and get it all ready to go. So this one you leave it on. And then it does it, its own maintenance. Yeah, it does its own maintenance, except uh, the daily, we have a daily maintenance. Yeah. The daily maintenance is easy. You just come out, take these two, yeah. shake them for five seconds, put them back in, it's done. That's it. That's it. And then the weekly maintenance, you just open it, you just clean a little bit, close it, and then the monthly maintenance, you just grease it up a little bit. All right. It's not, it's not that bad. All right, Carlos, it's done printing. What's the next step? Let's go press it. Alright, well, to cure it, we're going to do it at 330 degrees, and we're going to do it for 25 seconds. Only one one time, or do you do several? We're going to do twice. So we're, going to, we're going to do 25 seconds once, and then 25 seconds again. Got it. Alright, Carlos, done sure. Yeah, cure. What's the next goal, man? Because honestly, I don't know how you... You're gonna have to sleep on the floor. Or uh, now, um, next moves, they're gonna get me another DTG. Player. No way. Yeah, but I'm yeah. gonna have to convert my garage to yeah. the office, shut everything off, shut the whole door. Yeah. Airtime. Oh, okay. All right, guys, so there you go. That's how easy it is to print with a DTG printer, which are becoming very popular. Now, Carlos, let's say someone wanted to order a shirt or a hat from you or an air freshener. <laughs> Where can they find you at, man? Look me up at Pueblo Threads on Instagram, my Facebook, and Snapchat as Pueblo Threads. All right, I'll put everything in the description below. And Carlos, thank you so much, man, for inviting me. Thank you. Man. You know, letting me record you <laughs> and getting that knowledge. And if you enjoyed this video, press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.